Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Sight. Get sight. We're getting sight. We're all sight. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to FTL. My name is Nixus, and I think this could be a very short episode unless this next jump leads us to a store. Let's take a look. It's not a store. Okay. Let's see what will give me a bunch of options. Give me one option. This will give me a couple options. <sighs> Need to get to a store. That's the tricky part. There we go. Let's do it. We've got five hull strength. Son of a hooker. You notice a mantis attack ship docking between the clouds of swirling space stuff. That's the technical term. Remember that. It's hunting you. You try to get the jump and move in to attack. All right. Freaking, oh, balls. No oh, balls. No oh, balls. Oh, balls. Okay, heal, heal, get in the heal. Uh, suffocate them, suffocate them. No, no, okay, okay, they only have three shields. Let's see how well we can do. With this. Get rid of their shields. I should have done that first, probably, shouldn't I? I should have. Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Oh, they hit it! Oh, I knew they would! Okay, open fire on that sucker. Actually, let's try this first. Get. We only got one more missile left. Okay, open fire. Get it! Yes! Okay, we got something. That's something right there. It's good. It's alright. Get that- No! Oh... That's the saddest thing I've seen all day. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. <sighs> Crap. I'm two and a half minutes into this episode. Oh well. Let's return to the hangar. I had a feeling that one playthrough wouldn't do it, so you know what? Damn it, we're doing another one. We're going to try something different. We're going to go with a different ship. This is the Kestrel-class ship, but there are more than one. So we've got the Taurus, the Osprey, and a bunch of ones that I haven't unlocked yet, because reasons. Um, let's use the Federation Cruiser. I feel good about the Federation Cruiser. It's big. It has a lot of cool little things. Like here, I have, a th I have a thing here. What's this again? Artillery beam. Powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. So it's basically a free weapon. Uh, I've also got pretty much all the exact same ones as well. And I've got four, count them, four guys that I start with. So the question is, what is this thing called? Hmm... I typically name my fellows first. You're a human. Let's make you... Let's make you a lady. You will be our female captain. Strong, powerful, independent, all that good stuff. Your name will be... Hmm... Muffin. Something about this game makes me hungry. I don't know what it is. Uh... Titten. Titten? As much as I think that's a great name, I'm going to have to rename you. You are going to be... Gummy... Brr. I can't, I can't do a thing. Oh. I was hoping I could do the little tilde. They gave a tilde. Gummy bear. <laughs> Gumby bear. I kind of want to leave it as that, but... Gummy bear. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that's his full name, but it puts his last name there. Okay. What? I didn't know I could do last names like that. That's awesome. Okay, Oni. Ooh, wow, you are freaky. Rockman. Let's see, what am I going to call you? I'm going to call you... Cupcake. He is the illegitimate son of Cake. Don't ask how it happened, but it did. Sometimes a human and a rock monster see each other, and one thing leads to another with lots of alcohol. Let me tell you. And then we've got an NG fellow here, and I'm going to call him... Hmm... 
Pavlova. Now, not many people here in America know what Pavlova is. If you know what Pavlova is, say so in the comments and tell everyone how amazing it is, because it's the best thing ever. I have some friends who live in New Zealand, and they, every time they come over, which is not often, granted, it's, it's a bit of a drive from <laughs> New Zealand to Texas, but uh, anytime they do come over uh, when they're visiting the country, they make Pavlova, and it's awesome! And I'm going to call you... The Crunchy. We had the Munchy, but the Crunchy? Ooh, ooh, you need to be careful of the Crunchy. It is much more vicious, much more ready to destroy your face. Okay, the data you carry is vital to the blah 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 blah, we already did this. Alright, we are in our Y-Wing. We are preparing ourselves. So we've got, uh, Muffin taking the helm. Um, Pavlova with the shields. Our buddy Cupcake over here. Let's, let's get, yeah, let's get this, this thing charging. Let's get it going. Let's get you training and set and ready. <clears throat> now then, how do I fire you? I guess I just click it. Eh, okay, well, we'll see. It's been a while since I played FTL, honestly. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that I imagine I knew at some point, a lot of mechanics that I knew and that I've forgotten about all. Entirely. Let's go down here. This looks promising. Let's see. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Don't risk activating it. Just strip the ship for any useful scrap. Huh. You know what? I'm feeling. I'm feeling ballsy. You accidentally reactivate it. It's okay. Whenever I kill it, hopefully. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. How do I fix? Oh no! We are starting off wonderfully, are we not? Yes, we are. Let's get our shields up. Shields up. Ugh. Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, so that's off. Luckily, there is no one around. Mm. Thankfully, there is no one around to fix their shit. So as long as I can very carefully kill their face. Oh, this is this was a horrible decision. Why do I make horrible decisions all the time, no matter what game I'm playing? Shoot it, shoot, get those get those weapons. Okay. That'll help. Jeez. This is insane. Why am I having so much trouble with this? Thank you. Now they shouldn't be able to attack me at all. Okay, in the end, really, oh, okay, really didn't do a ton of damage, but man, that was freaky. That was a lot of craziness right there. Wait, it does auto-heal. Shit. Maybe it's just this particular section that does. In any case, let's take care of it. I'm gonna aim for the weapons, just in case, just in case it tries to come back online. Whew, just in time, too. There we go. Okay, so we got some fuel, we got some uh, missiles, and we got a few more scrap than we would have. Ten more scrap, I think, actually. So, I'll consider that a worthwhile adventure. <clears throat> Ooh, distress beacon. Let's go see what that's about. <laughs> we should have sent out some distress beacons. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Let's send in our rock guy. He's fire resistant. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze and eventually the fire starts to die down. Ooh! Yes! Oh, baby! Thank you! How do I use my new thing? Okay, let's see. Boost the reach. Oh, okay, so it's just a passive. Sweet! Oh, my shield recharges faster. I could not be happier. Okay, I do want to upgrade my shields when possible. For now, I'll just put that in there. But I need, I need better shields. Shields are super important to me and to everyone. 
You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you or your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. They don't want to fight. Oh <laughs> well, too bad. Let's get rid of their FTL char charger. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, yeah. Mm. I put on the best music when I fight and kill people. Yes, yes. Oh, damn. No. Oh, jeez. We're not going to be able to keep them down if we don't have that. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Shit. Shit. Damn it. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, I just need this. I just need this. Come on, give it to me. Give me the... Mm, give it to me. Stop killing me. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it missed. Thank you for missing. Oh, awesome! Okay, so it's automatic. I kind of wish it wasn't automatic, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Perfect. I don't think they'll be able to get out of here. You come on up here. Their weapons are down. You can go ahead and help them fix it. Good. Now come back. You, come over here. Speed... Oh, I can't do anything there. Never mind. Blow them up, man. Blow them up. Finish them. Yeah! Oh, suck it, rebels! I don't run from rebels. Screw them. Take their shits, what I do. Already, though, I need to <laughs> fix everything and heal my ship. Uh, I'm starting to realize why uh, I make horrible decisions. Okay. Um, everybody actually needs to come and heal. Why can't you use that speed that you were using before? Okay, go ahead. Good. Now you heal. Come on, Pappy. Good. We're all set. A store. I can heal up there. That would be good. Only one ship. Good. Let's take a look. Huh. <sighs> <clears throat> I need more weapons. That's really what I need more than anything. But for now, we'll settle for fixing up my ship. Good. Now it's as if nothing bad happened. How did I not fix this? I thought I fixed this. I must have left and healed them before I fixed it. Oh well. There we go. Everything's better now. Now, let's jump to the next section. Let's see what we can do. Oh, asteroids, perfect. Ugh, another automated bastard. Alright, well, it's an ion cannon, so. Uh, get rid of their freaking. Stop that! Asshole. Thank you. Alright, take care of their weapon systems. Their drone's offline. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about him. Jeez. Everything is going wrong right now. This episode is just for everything to be broken and bad. Okay. Keep that shield up. Come on, Pavlova, you can do it. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Oh, whoa, there's shit in there. Uh, fire. Fire. Hurry! Cupcake! Hurry. Okay, you come on in here. Heal up. Uh... Kinda wanna jump, but I also don't know what will be there. I don't wanna run into somebody and have everything be horrible and terrible and... Not good. Okay, I'll fix this shit up. Do your thing! Good, good. Alright. Come on over here. Fix this so we can see. And then we should be all set. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't know what's going down. 
but, uh, oh, it's not going well right now. Alright, we're all good, we're set, let's jump before anything else can hurt us. Don't want any of those stupid asteroids coming in. Oh, you arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Sure, why not? Oh, great. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but they will surely tip you generously. Eh, fine. Whatever. It's probably already on my, on my way. Oh yeah, it's like right there. Uh, let's do the long route around. Let's see if we can. Oh, jeez. Another automated one. Ah. Uh, at least they don't have a shield. So maybe I can kill them quickly and get out of here before they can do any real damage. Oh, thankfully. All right, come on. Before that sun can do anything lasting to us. Perfect. All right, now just be ready for fire. Okay, can't do any real damage to us, so let's go ahead and go to the quest. <laughs> fire just whooshed out, right? That's how it works. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You are supposed to deliver the drone parts to a station here. Yes, thank you. Not really a drone guy. I know that can be useful, and there are a lot of really good drones, but it just doesn't fit my style. It's just another resource I have to worry about. Okay, let's see what we've got. We get another one of those, another one of these. Take it out of there and put it into there. Oh, my throat. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Let's go to the exit. Hi. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Good. Oh, you arrive in a system and immediately discover a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, scans indicate that there are no life forms aboard. You salvage anything useful, but find no clue as to the whereabouts of the former crew. Interesting. That's fun. Uh, let's leave. And go to, ooh, NG Control. Th I'm not going to Zoltan Control. No, screw that. The Mentis have been threatening the NG Core worlds, but you should be able to stock up your journey. What? The NG and the Mantis have a rivalry? Well then, you guys, some inner ship drama going on. Oh, well, this is a little bit of a shorter episode, but I like to keep the sectors kind of contained, you know? So I think we'll go ahead and end it there. We had a big disappointment at the beginning, but hopefully... Now, with the crunchy, we can make our way to the end. Maybe find a store, buy some weapons. We'll see. So, as always, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and you stay beautiful. And stay tuned, because more FTL is on the way. I'll catch you later.